hello you're welcome to my channel and in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft a milk milk dress pattern it's how to draft a milk milk and um, bustier pattern in the very simple and very easy way so the first thing to do guys is you're going to mark out your shoulder line which will also serve as your baseline so from that line you're going to measure out your you're going to measure out your bust your chest line your bust line your under bust line your waist line then after you're done measuring all those lines then you're going to label them the chest line the bust line the under bust line the waist line and the shoulder line please ensure to label all your lines so after you're done laboring all the lines then the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to measure out your neckline which is three inches by three inches after you're done with that you're going to measure out your shoulder divided by two you mark it out then from there you're going to mark out the shoulder slope which is one inches and connect the line to the neckline and after you're done with that then you're going to rule out that um, slope that seven inches slope to meet the chest line is going to also serve as your arm o length then you divide that line into two mine is seven divided by two which is three and a half so on that three and a half line you're going to come out by half of an inch then from there you use your curve drill to um, rule it out now to serve as your arm hole so after you're done with that then the next thing now for you to do you're going to measure out your nipple by nipple measurement divided by two mine is seven divided by two three and a half so i measure the three and a half on my waistline my under bust line and my bust line and i'm connecting all the lines together like this then you come to the waistline and you come out by half of an inch on both sides then you're going to measure after you've come out by half of an inch on both sides then you draw the line to meet the bust line just as you're seeing me doing like this then after you're done with that then the next thing you're going to do now on your under bust line you come on by one inch then on the other side there you're going to come out by two inches from that um nipple to nipple line then you're going to now come on by one inch as you see me do there so now after you're done with that then you're going to use your curved ruler to connect all those lines so please ensure you connect those lines perfectly if you don't have a curved rule you can use your free hand then after you're done with that then you're going to connect the line up to the shoulder you're going to connect the line up to the arm oh sorry so you're going to connect the line up to the arm hole so after you're done with that then the next thing to do now from that line you're not going to you can use your free hand or your curve drill to roll it down to that chest line so as you can see it's already forming the cup already then after then you're going to mark out your all your uh, measurements my my waist is 28 divided by 4 which is 7 i marked out the 7 plus the 1 inches that i marked it out to it then to my chest line i'm going to measure my bust on my chest line which is 40 divided by 4 which is 10 then i'm going to measure 10 on my chest line then i'm going to rule those lines out then after then i'm going to add one and a half inches so in allowance and i'm going to rule it out as well i'm going to join out the lines as well as you can see so after you're done with that the next thing i'm going to do i'm doing now I'm, I'm marking out those lines those important lines with the marker so that you can see it clearly so those lines that i'm that i used the marker to draw are the ones are the lines you're going to be cutting out they're the ones we really need for this milk made bustia pattern so you're going to draw out your lines with the marker so that you know where to cut and where not to cut so you can know where to start your cutting and where to end it so after you've done joining and tracing all the lines like that you can see our cup that is the cup and the front here is the center front and the side front of the cup 
then after you're done with the burning please labels are very very important so that it will save you from a lot of mistake it will save you from a lot of um mistakes generally so you need to always label your patterns so as you can see me now i'm cutting out those places that i use the marker to rule out i'm cutting it out so that is the um, important place that we need actually so after you're done cutting it out you can see you have to be careful while cutting those lines so that you won't cut out where you do not need then after that we're going to cut out the cup as you can see that i'm doing now i'm cutting out the cup so as you can see the i cut out the cup very neatly and nicely so after you've cut out the cup now the next thing you're going to do now please you need to pay attention to this part very well on that cup you're going to measure the um you're going to measure the widest area for me the widest area of the cup is seven and half inches as you can see that is the widest area on the cup so and I'm, I'm going to take another pattern so that seven and a half i'm going to multiply it by two if you want because the more um the more you know i'm going, you're going to gather that front so the more the the fabric the more beautiful the gown will come out to be so you can use you can even multiply yours by three you can multiply it by four but you know now puffy and how um, you want that place to come out so for but the sake of this tutorial i'm going to cut out i'm going to um multiply it by two which is seven and a half times two which is going to give me 14 seven and a half by two yeah which is going to give me 15 inches so i'm going to cut out that 15 inches now so then i'm going to place my cup on it this way and i'm going to cut out the length as well i'm going to make cut out please just look at what i'm doing closely you're going to get it so i'm going to cut out the length as well i'm going to measure out i'm measuring out the length of the cup as well so this one we are, we are making now is going to be the one that will serve as our cup now so after you know you see that is my times three times two now that is the center front and that is our side front so after you are done with that they're not going to take your cup initial cup you're going to trace out the curves on the cup you're going to trace it out on the new pattern paper both for the front and for the back as you see me do like this exactly you're going to trace it out like that so that you get the exact curve in which we have on the initial cup so after you're done tracing it out then you're going to if you want more you want it to curve in more or whatever um, extension you want you can make it on the new pattern for the cup so you can see that this pattern now is wider than the initial one we have so if you want it to be more wide than this you can multiply your own by three because you know generally we are still going to gather this um area we're still going to gather this pattern so and the more you know the more the fabric at that area when we gather it the beautiful it makes that material to be so we're going to label it this is number one so you're going to use this same pattern to cut another pattern because this pattern now is for one side of your bust so you're going to be cutting another one of this side for the other side of your bust so that it will make the front of the bust it will make it very full and it's going to come out nicely all the curves is going to come out nicely all the curves you can see it's it fitting you can see it fitting into our normal pattern so that is it so depending on if you want it to even be very full maybe you are the type that you are very busty and you want it to be more full than this you can even multiply your initial cup times four it will bring out a very beautiful and lovely outfit so please guys if you have found this tutorial helpful subscribe to my channel to become part of this lovely and wonderful sewing family 
and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos bye bye